I've always loved art, even when I was a little kid. I remember painting and drawing and um, always just engulfing myself in the creative world for as long as I can remember. Um, but when I was a kid, I was also horribly shy and had trouble talking to all people. I remember my parents would try to take me out on Halloween to go trick-or-treating for candy and even something as simple as saying trick-or-treat uh, to get candy was something that I couldn't do because just the thought of human interaction was absolutely terrifying for me because it just brought me so much worry and anxiety. And honestly, I don't think that really has changed until I reached halfway through high school. Um, because I was so scared of human interaction and I didn't really have a lot of friends growing up, that had led me to uh, just keep inside my head a lot. Um, I was in my own world and um, it just led me to have a very wild and active imagination. So oftentimes when I looked outside I would see um, goblins running on rooftops and fairies swinging from tree vines. Um, because I had a lot of time to myself, fantasizing about different worlds was honestly my favorite thing to do and I'd say that not much has changed since then. Um, painting surreal fantasy landscapes is a very common theme in a lot of my paintings because it just allows me to escape to a different world, uh, one that I feel is oftentimes difficult to articulate, um, one that is kind of full of worry and anxiety and it just provides me with a safe place. I really think my painting Introvert's Paradise really captures this uh, concept because it embodies that perfect moment where you engulf yourself in your favorite book. Reading is one of those best ways to just transport yourself into uh, a different universe. It's a way for you to live a thousand different types of lives and step into each person's shoes. So in this painting, I really wanted to capture that moment where you're just completely happy with being utterly alone and just spoiling yourself with endless imagination. I actually painted some of my favorite books in my own personal library. Uh, for instance, I have The City of Bones from the Mortal Instruments series. I have Cinder from the Lunar Chronicles. Both of those are fantasy books, no surprise. I also have my favorite poetry book called I Wrote This For You and even a business economics book that I really love called Freakonomics. I hope that viewers who view this painting see this as an opportunity to escape to a different world and live a different life. Um, maybe remember a childhood memory or just take a break from a difficult reality. So I will be having a solo art show at Artusiasm where I will be showing a ton of my original works. This solo show will be on June 15th of 2018 and it's called Secret Escape. It will have uh, some of the places that I enjoy escaping to the most. There'll be some whimsical paintings, such as ones from a storybook. Uh, there'll be some more traditional landscape paintings and even some darker toned ones. It will definitely be a really interesting show for everyone to come and see. Uh, hopefully everybody will be able to come and make it. Um, just to reiterate, it's going to be a solo show called Secret Escape at Artusiasm, which is on St. Clair, and the opening night is going to be on June 15th.